All right, so now that we got the engine bay cleaned up, we're gonna try to push this uh, core support out, this bottom core support out a little bit. You can see that it's off right here where these spot welds, it came right out of here. So this will kind of be our guide point when we push this out to see if these line up. And as soon as these line up, we should be good. We'll try to straighten that up as much as possible and see what we look at. So we're getting the ram ready, the hydraulic ram, and we're getting that set up and then we'll push this out. And then uh, we'll start working on this part getting this out of here and one's gonna help and drill this uh core support the top radiator core support out this right here and get this out of here all right let's set it up let's do it so right here we're just setting up the ram trying to get it positioned right because it can't be too far up can't be too far down and we got to put the block of wood behind it just enough to get it to set I'm just holding it just till we get some pressure on it. And we had to reposition it again it was actually coming um i think it was either coming up or down when we were trying to extend it out you can see we actually went out a lot as you can see right down here right here how close we are just a little bit more and actually went out as you can look at it straight here it needs to come back a little bit more probably a couple inches we're gonna do it again get this pushed out and then we'll we'll flip that piece there but the more we push it out, the more we got to put something behind it to compensate for the ram going all the way out. Because you'll see right here, it extends all the way. And we don't have any more leverage behind it. Yeah, and just peel it back. Yeah. Car just shifted. Oh, you got yeah you're leaking fluid started okay. leaking fluid because the ram was extended all the way so now we got to put another piece of block of wood behind right. that so we got it we got it enough it needs to come back a little bit or forward a little bit more but you can see the difference before so we had enough so we extended the ram all the way so now we need to compensate for that and push it forward a little bit more but it looks a lot better look at that so, all right, round two. Time to do some sketchy shit. Sketchy shit, sketchy shit. <laughs> this for sure is that. Hey, go so what we gotta do is... I want you. <laughs> I want the thing flying up and hitting you. That's what I'm kind of saying away. It's actually working though. We're actually almost there. Well, we've got to overbend it if you yeah. want it straight. Yeah. Because it'll come back some. Mm -hmm. Unless you put heat on it. I'm not going to put heat on it. No, I don't. I'm not going to do all that. You can hear it creaking. It's actually pushing it out more. And the driver's side door fit better after this was pushed out too. It actually latched. It actually closed in the lines for the door lined up be all we're going to get out of this piece okay see how it's starting to twist yeah okay you want to okay. see where we're at once we come back a little bit a lot better better than it was i tried to catch it was it almost through? Yeah. 
little bit more. Now we're just drilling out the spot well for that upper core support. There's some hidden damage right underneath there, the headlight there you bezel. You can see a little bit right now, but once he takes this off of there, you can see the damage underneath there, so that all needed to be straightened out. Came up pretty easy after we drilled Look the spot holes out. See, now the headlight bezel's all freaking messed up. No, we just straighten that out. <laughs> oh, it took a hit there. Yeah, that's when that happened. I don't know. So I was trying to get this bottom to line up to this bolt right here. So we can bolt this back in and then put this out. And then right up, right up here, you can see where it hit. See, look at the other one on the other side. It's straight. It's straight. See, the one on the other side is straight like that. And then this one like this. So I'm hoping that that will straighten in and that out. Which wires do you have to do? We got the upper core support off. That's all good to go. We got that side off and this side off. We got that frame pushed out on the bottom, so that's pretty much straight. So we're just gonna weld a piece in there for the radiator across. And you finish getting this all straightened up. See that? Just trying right to here? straighten kind this headlight bezel out. See my right here. So that where it was welded in. Oh. Just to... No, is the nut still there? Yeah, the nut's still there. I'm just trying to get that lined up where I can put a nut in there. Get that. Need to come in and buzz that one flat. My allergies were really bothering me that day. Yeah. Sand, you know, yeah. sandpaper. Yeah. I'll get that. I got my. Grab that one out with a. But that'll go right back on now. You know, get a hold in there. Yeah. You just hold it. Release. You can pound it some back from the back, and there yeah. should be a dolly over on the car. So, what we're trying to do is trying to move this headlight bezel in. It needs to be hit in this way, and it needs to be somewhat like the passenger side so we can kind of get this straightened out before we actually put this back on but i'm gonna have to drill these out and hit these with a grinder and then these these spot welds will fall right out and then there'll actually be a little hole here so we can put this up here you could tell when i put this piece on here that that headlight bezel needed to come back you can kind of tell right now how far how far forward it is but the passenger side was good it was just the driver's side yeah see how far that's out about that far off what's that this side this side fits just like this but this side needs to it's because this is better here, so this spot will right there. Here. Yeah. All right, that's where that goes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so this needs to go. Cool. Just to give okay. us a reference to see how far. Just pounding that side in so we can actually get that to fit underneath the core support on that side. And I keep checking it just to make sure that it's uh, how much we need to go in. Okay. Yeah, it's still off a little bit. All right, so we got a lot of work done on the CRX. We got it all pressure washed. We got it all cleaned out. Emlyn helped me for Emlyn's Crazy World. Um, so we pushed out the bottom core support as much as we could. We got it pretty much straightened out. So I'm going to weld a piece in 
here and across here and then probably attach my brackets whatever um radiator i'm going to use for that but we got all the motor mounts we got the si motor mount right here this is the i know this that's is not the SI from motor mount that's going to go in here so that's going to fit back here on this piece and that's going to fit like that so in the last video we um, mocked this one up so it does fit and that's going to go like that okay we got the old uh pieces off of the core support here so we got these all dry um, spot welds all number. drilled out and we got that all good to go so we got the new one in here so this all needs to be painted and sanded down and the interior needs to be sanded down all this needs to be painted down there needs to be painted and then uh grinded down like that needs to be painted but we'll do the same Parsing thing we did valve. with the integra but look at that let's come back here and look at this Look at this now we got this all straightened out this headlight bezel you can see that it's all straightened that out now so much better. i got a bolt in there so this whole header panel fits there so we need to straighten it out a little bit but we got some uh we got some little nuts in here just to hold it in place for now so once we spot weld you know like here there there we're gonna have to put new spot welds in here because it's not actually like perfect because it was um it was wrecked a little bit but it's enough to get the B20 in here and get this all cleaned out and paint this and then we'll get the cowl on here. We got a little bit of a little bit of rust back there. We need a seam seal like there and then right down here where the seam seal broke right there once we push this all out. The driver's side door does fit a lot better. Um, it does open up. We just got to fix the latch on it. Took the thing out. But and yeah, and I took the thing out here so this is all this was all rusted. So I got that piece out of there. It looks really good for sitting there for that long. And it does fit. Listen. It closes. Oh my goodness. The latch isn't latching because it's all rusted in here. You can see you can see the rust in there, but that needs to be sprayed out. We'll fix that. But yep. And there's the gas tank. Um so yeah, we're working on it. We're getting it done. Um got that tire pumped up got that tire pumped up there but that is going um that's going flat too um i got the oil pan for the b20 there and there's the alternator i need to take that and go get that tested and see if it actually works but it looks a lot better from when we first pulled this out and what it looked like look at that core support it's actually straight now we can get the latch put back in which this fits this actually goes underneath like this and that's your hood latch like that so wires, yeah. yeah we need to take the wires out we need to take this part out here get this wiring um stripped all the way down and um figure out what the chassis harness and what the engine harness is kind of separate it so you can see right up there you can see the two separate harnesses so we're gonna have to strip this all down i got the b20 uh wiring harness in the car so we'll be wiring this all up. It's looking a lot better. So next time we come over, we're going to be sanding this all down and getting all this rust out of here and getting that rust out of there. And then we'll be prepping this for some paint. We're going to be painting it. Probably the same color as that. So I need to figure out what will match with this. All this needs to be all um, grinded down with all this rust. And then we'll prime it. We'll do some rust prohibitor. And then we'll uh, do that. What? That's little. Yep, that's for the hood. The, the hood's little. Look at the little hood over there. <laughs> but we need to get the hood on. But once we get the engine in, we're going to be building that here soon. So stay tuned for the next video. We're doing more work on the CRX. You ready to get it done? Yes. All right. Subscribe to Crazy World. Yep. Subscribe to Amazon Crazy World on YouTube. I'll put a link up here. And I'll put a link in the description below. Check out her channel. She did an oil change on my 2015 Honda Civic. It was a really cool video. Subscribe to her video. And subscribe to her channel. Like her video. And she's going to be helping with the CRX. And help build the V20, right? Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. But the CRX is looking a lot better. We got a pressure wash. Got it cleaned up. So we need to get some sanding done. And get that done. Got the core support all in there. So we need to get that welded in. And get that spot welds but if you like this video and want to see the crx running subscribe like and share and you can follow us on facebook and instagram at jc motor garage and you'll see us next time on jc motor garage and i'm on this crazy world see ya